Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pika and I do fragrance reviews. So, I'm back. I know. I think it's been about two weeks, two weeks maybe, since I last uploaded. And there's a very good reason why. <laughs> so, I think that most of you will will kind of get me when I say this, but I think everyone at some point in their lives needs a break from something, whether that's work, whether that's their hobbies, whether that's, I mean, for me, it was YouTube and social media in general and work. Um, <laughs> so I think everyone kind of, you know, gets into that rut where they just feel like they need some time off. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I've always wanted to do to be fair and that's show you guys some really elegant classy and mature fragrances and I know some of you think that mature is sometimes a bad thing but trust me when I say sometimes it's a really good thing because in some ways it depends on where you're going of course but for me personally if I'm at work if I'm um, meeting somebody quite important or whatever I'm doing if I want to make a lasting impression I like to smell a little bit more mature a little bit more classy and elegant I don't think we always need to smell like we're going clubbing all the time if we're wearing fragrances I think there's an occasion for everything in life and um, sometimes you do need to be a little bit more prim and proper even though I don't really like that kind of saying. It's going to be part one and I'm going to be doing a part two which features night, nightly, is that even a thing? Night elegant classy fragrances. These are the day ones so these are um, anywhere between the morning and the evening that you can wear these. So the first one that I want to show you guys, I'm going to do it as normal from the least expensive to the most and this one can be inexpensive but you do need to find it on um, a discounter kind of website. You can find it normally on a really really good deal and this was actually, I. so let me tell you a bit of a story about this one. So this is Californian Reverie by Van Cleef and Arpel and initially I had smelt this ages ago. I smelled this in, I think it was House of Fraser, they have a little section for Van Cleef and Arpel which is really nice actually, you can, this is pre-Covid I'm talking, when you could just go in, you could test whatever you wanted to test and you would be left alone to smell all of the bottles that you wanted and this one at the time, I don't know why but I just kind of left it, like I smelt it and I, then I just went on to smell some other fragrances. Now recently my friend Gabby, um, she has an amazing channel, I think most of you guys will know her anyway so I don't really have to um, you know give her a spotlight as such but Gabby loves perfumes. She and I did like a sample swap not too long ago and she sent me a sample of this fragrance and I said to myself oh my gosh yes because it was so long ago from when I tried it and I don't remember whether I liked it or I disliked it you know one of those ones when you don't really remember anything from when you first sampled it and when she sent it to me I was kicking myself you guys I said to myself how did I not see back then how beautiful this fragrance is. It is so, oh my gosh, this is the epitome of classiness and elegance in a summer type fragrance. I think this in the spring and summer, particularly in the type of, uh, I guess, climate that we're in in the moment, is perfect. This is a really very straightforward white floral scent. It has a ton of neroli, has I believe a bit of orange blossom, I smell a bit of bergamot as well just at the top, like a bit of citri uh, citrusness, is that a word? Citrusness? We'll just go with that. And then has an underlying musky, ever so slightly woody base, but this is 
incredible. I think a guy or a girl can pull <laughs> can pull this off equally. I think because the Neroli is always deemed as quite a unisex type of note, I think the Neroli is the key player here. It kind of smells like a really big dose of Neroli, orange blossom and bergamot all in one bottle so this is really really beautiful i think lots of you would love this the longevity is okay it's not the best in the world but you know if you are in the spring or summer you're bound to kind of over spray anyway and to take your fragrance with you um so yeah this one is amazing this is californian reverie all right so the next fragrance that i have is a joe malone fragrance and if you guys know joe malone you'd know that they're quite natural smelling the the actual titles slash the names of the fragrances really resemble what's inside the fragrance which i really like and i think in terms of a brand they're very similar to i think byredo just in the way that they smell they're quite natural smelling and um, simple simplistic but really really beautiful and this is called Two Bros and Angelica. Now don't let the Two Bros fool you. This is definitely a Two Bros fragrance but it's not the type of Two Bros that you guys are used to. This is not like a carnal in your face kind of Two Bros. It's, it's very soft, very elegant. Um, it's slightly um, sweet and green as well. It's just wow. I don't hear literally anyone talk about this fragrance. Fragrance. And I think, in my opinion, this is Jo Malone's, like one of Jo Malone's best creations. This is so beautiful and natural and sweet and green and it's just beautiful. In the summer, um, I have the body cream of this and I've had it for some time. And at the time, I wasn't sure because it was a bit more on the green side and Back when I wasn't so sure about green fragrances, but now I'm definitely much more into them. This is not the type of mossy green that you're used to, or a grassy green. It's just green from the Two Bros and the Angelica. The Angelica sometimes can give off, from what I've experienced, like more of a I don't know, like a medicinal vibe, but this is just a really green, plush, sweet, fresh Angelica um, with a very creamy, fluffy two bros. This is just wow. <laughs> this is so beautiful and it's very, very elegant. This is perfect if you want to, I don't know, impress somebody during the day, if you just want to smell very fresh, clean, sweet and floral all at the same time, this is perfect. So that is Two Bros and Angelica from Jo Malone. All right, so the next fragrance is one that I've talked about quite a lot, <laughs> but there's a really good reason behind it because I love, love this fragrance. This in the spring or even just during the day, any, any weather, doesn't really matter when, is really, really gorgeous. And I think more people should definitely try this. This is more mature but don't be scared because I think the first time that I tried this I wasn't sure I really wasn't I was like oh gosh is this too mature for me is this too much for me but it wasn't at all it kind of smells like a really beautiful spa um, very foresty it has lots of moss and that is Eau de Soir by Sicily gosh I nearly forgot to mention what the fragrance was this is a really really beautiful fragrance I have has a lot of citruses right in the top but the main thing that's going on is this really sweet mossy slightly floral woody base this is very um very sheep type fragrance so if you guys are quite um if you know sheeps very well, sheepres, or however you like to pronounce it, this is like the epitome 
of a sheep fragrance but it's not the type of sheep which is too vintage or too old-fashioned where you're like oh it smells a little bit musty or dusty this is a very modern take on sheep press. it's very sweet it's floral it's green it's just wow and I've received a lot of compliments on this I usually this is like my dynamite when it comes to work like if I really have a very important business meeting this is the fragrance that I will whip out um, and I've even worn it to getting drinks and stuff like that and guys seem to really love this fragrance um, so yeah if you're not too scared of a green sheep fragrance I think this one would be perfect so that is Eau de Soir by Sisley so the next fragrance that I have is one from Ormond Jane and I honestly couldn't have done an elegant slash classy video without Ormond Jane in it and in my night version of this video I will be featuring another Ormond Jane in that one as well because I think Ormond Jane is really great for women who do like more elegant classy fragrances and recently she brought out a new um, kind of range I think it's called Le Routes de Soir um, which I believe translates to the Silk Road I'm not entirely sure. This was meant to be a more sweeter, more um, approachable um, kind of range or line from Almond Jane. And I think there's about seven bottles in total and I've smelt nearly all of them in all honesty. I really, I mean, as soon as they announced it, I was in, you know, I was in Selfridges straight away and I, you know, was sampling all of the fragrances. And this one was one of my most favourite ones and that is The Musk by Ormond Jane. This is a really, really beautiful aquatic fruity floral fragrance um, and the way I can describe this is there's a real big dose of lemon uh, like a real real big dose of lemon there's I believe some black currants in here which gives it a little bit of tartness a little bit of fruitiness you have some pink pepper you have a lot of rose you do definitely smell um, the rose and you know Thinking about it now, the rose is really similar to the rose that's in Taif, which is another Almond Jane fragrance. So if you can imagine Taif rose in this with added lemon and an added like aquaticness, this is just really really beautiful the projection on this is crazy like I was not expecting it to perform the way it did and uh, this is really great if you just want to smell clean fresh and elegant this isn't um this is more of a crowd pleasing scent you wouldn't um offend anybody by wearing this in actual fact i think you'd bring more people in because it has a really nice musk like a really clean white musk which is really approachable and makes you smell very elegant and classy so that is the musk by Almond Jane. Okay so the next fragrance that I have is a very small bottle <laughs> it's kind of I think it's classed as a miniature bottle this is Purple Oud by Christian Dior this is from their Privé collection and I will show you guys the bottle this is how it looks like one of my friends actually gave this to me kindly I think he had a really big bottle of it and just had one of these on the side so he was like ah here you go Pika I said oh my gosh thank you because you know it's always nice being able to get a bigger samples rather than you know the small samples they only go so much I mean you only get like maybe two mil out of it so I always prefer bigger samples so I can test it and see how it works but this one wow I was really blown away I think I almost preferred this to Oud Ispahan uh, which again is from the Dior Privé uh, collection this is a really beautiful oud fragrance <laughs> has um what feels like a bit of vetiver in here as well a bit floral a little bit fruity but for me this is a definitely a fresher take on oud the oud with i feel i feel like there's a bit of vetiver in here gives it a bit of dirtiness so there is an underlying dirtiness to this fragrance but i think that dirtiness slash green 
bitterness, um, mo I wouldn't say mossiness, but kind of greenness or bitterness, should I say, I should say bitterness, gives this fragrance a lot of maturity, a lot of elegance, and this can be worn by both a guy and a girl. Um, I don't really see any gender attached to this whatsoever. I think it's a very beautiful take on Western Oud. It's fresh, it's bitter. Yeah, I just think anyone can pull it off during the day. So that is Purple Oud by Dior. All right, so last but certainly not least is one of my favorites from the whole Roja line. This is a real real love for me. I know I've talked about it a few times on my channel but there's a really good reason why. I think this is super duper elegant, very um, powdery and um, it's there's a very slight hint of oud which just elevates this to another level. It's very feminine as well. I wouldn't see a lot of guys wearing this but I can imagine that it would still smell absolutely gorgeous on a guy. This is Enigma Oud by Roja. This is so... I need to spray it. I need to spray it. I know it's a lot of money you guys but I just have to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it opens up with a really beautiful tart note of peach and a bit of white florals as well. And the peach in here, I've said this in um, a previous video, makes it smell a little bit more vintagey and a little bit more mature because I remember um, having smelt some more older fragrances. They used, to sm um, they used to have a lot of peach or aldehydes in there. And I think that's what makes this really elegant and very classy. It's not the type of juicy peach that we're used to. Um, this is very tart and fresh. Um, and then alongside that, you also get a really big dose of Oris or Iris. I guess it's the same thing, right? And um, that's what kind of steals the show for this one. It's very powdery and creamy. This is a type of classy fragrance that you'd wear to a very very special occasion, um, maybe to a wedding. I would wear this to a wedding wedding as well. You wouldn't offend anybody by wearing it. Um, so that is Enigma Oud by Roja. Alrighty, so that's it for this video. Classy and elegant fragrances and mature for the daytime. So these are all day, well, you can still wear them at night, I won't lie to you, but these are just really, really beautiful. Um, they mostly have, I've noticed, like a little bit of bitterness in them or a little bit of a greenness. And I think that's what kind of sets them apart to other fragrances. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. And as always, please like, subscribe, share, all of that jazz, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.